Hello folks. Today I'll be reviewing the SOAP SCAB model grind shoes in black and gray, which you might be able to purchase on eBay or a random skateboarding forum since they have been discontinued for some time now. I purchased mine about seven years ago from a skateboarding website for a company based in the UK that apparently no longer exists. I must also disclose that I have modified this pair. I've replaced the stock white laces with aftermarket yellow laces because they really pop against the black and gray. I put a link in the description below if you're interested in learning more about the history of soap shoes. Soap scab shoes are directed at a singular purpose, grinding down rails using the plastic plate underneath the middle of the shoe. The shoes embrace the chunky shoe style of the 90s West Coast skate scene from where they emerged and take this style to new heights. They are incredibly heavy. It is like wearing bricks. But this was not without reason. Falling is an everyday occurrence when grinding rails, and the bulky construction of the shoe pro provided a much needed cushion. The leather pieces protect the side of the shoe, as some of the tricks like UFOs and Royales require turning the shoe nearly horizontal and grinding with the edge of the plate in the shoe. The scabs utilize the original grind plate soap produced, which is held in place with three hex screws. The original grind plate is basic, and yet unique to every user. The plastic plate was designed to break down in a way that the user formed grooves useful for hitting their personal favorite angles for grinding. The soap scabs are a simple but utilitarian shoe, an icon of a short period in skate culture at the end of the 90s and the beginning of the 2000s. Soap shoes challenge the user to see their environment differently. Before kids were getting yelled at for gliding down the halls of their schools in Heelys, mall cops were chasing soapers zooming down rails. Soaps grinded so Heelys could roll. But ironically, it was Heelys who would buy up the troubled Soap Shoes brand after it ran into legal problems. Even collaborating the two mildly subversive technologies, the grind plate and the wheel and the heel, the new Heelys with grind plates were not very easy to use and did not sell well. The Great Recession hit Heelys hard, with Heelys stock price losing half its value in a single day. Five years later, Heelys, not to mention the soap and other grind shoes patents they held, were deemed nearly worthless and sold off to some generic conglomerate. Soap shoes finally ran out of rail. The SoapShoes.com website has been blank since February 2015. Soaping just never caught fire like skating did, even though Soap Shoes appeared as the main character shoes in the 2001 video game Sonic Adventure 2. Putting on these shoes is like being transported to a more brash and strange era. It's experiencing an alien relic of the past. And with that, now it's time for the action shot segment of the show. Buckle up! Yeah, I guess really ran through the pain, but I'm just back on my path and I fixed it now, it's really okay. So I ain't gonna waste yeah, my chance and just my time. So I'ma be a monster, I'ma kill him, this is mine, yeah, yeah.